Hi everyone, and uh, welcome to a quick tutorial on mirroring. So when mirroring an object in 3D Studio Max, uh, which is pretty much taking one side of a body, let's pretend this is one side of a torso, and we're going to mirror it over to another side, attach and weld it to form our final torso. So step one, make half the torso. We got half, okay. Looks like half, looks good. Check your different viewpoints. Looks like half, great. Second step, check the inside. So the part that's going to be like hollow pretty much. You wanna make sure that there's no polygons in there so that when we weld them, there's not gonna be any hidden polygons. And when you go to unwrap or smoothing that there's not gonna be any major issues with it. So now that we've sorted that out, there's no hidden polys. We're pretty much exactly half. We want to go to our hierarchy menu. So normally when you start Max, it'll be in the create menu, which is here. Uh, right beside that is the modify menu. And third uh, is the hierarchy menu, which is what we want to play around with. Um, the first menu that will pop up is the adjust pivot menu. And what we want to do is affect the pivot only. And the reason why we want to affect the pivot is because when we do mirroring, it's going to use this as sort of a central point or the point of which it's going to mirror against. So you want to move it to the center or the edge of your model, I should say, or the center of when your model's fully attached where that center point will be. So we're gonna move it close to the edge. We're gonna go to our different viewpoints, viewport, sorry. I'm gonna zoom in to make sure that's pretty much right on the edge, like so. And then we're gonna turn off uh, effect pivot only by clicking on it. There you go. The arrows disappear, and now we just are left with our WER keys. And now the pivot point is actually right on the edge of our model. Next step, we want to mirror it. We go to our top menu here, our top bar, click on Tools, and you click on Mirror. Now you'll notice it created a mirror copy of the original, but didn't actually copy it over, it just moved it over. That's because we need to change some of our settings here. Uh, right now, our mirror is on the X, which is great because that's the axis on which we want to mirror it, so this looks like the thing we want. We can always change that to Y or Z if we really want to, but X works out fine for us right now. And then there are several options that we can do. We can either copy the object, which means it's not going to reference it. It's not going to be altered in any way. It's just going to copy it straight. You'll be able to edit and attach it right away. Or you can create an instance or a reference. And what those do is a reference uh, will, auto, uh, will obviously let you modify it one side and duplicate it on the other. So if I want to do a torso a bit, I'm just going to adjust this, tweak around with that. Sorry, that's my phone. Tweak around with that. And there you go. That's a little bit of my torso right there. Or at least the start to one. And like that. I'm just going to edit it a little bit. There you go. So now that our torso looks good on both sides, what we want to do is click on the reference side or the copy. And you'll notice that if it is a reference, you're going to see a black bar here. What you need to do is right click, right click, sorry, on edit mesh, sorry about that, and click make unique. What that does is it no longer creates a reference, it's turned into just a copy or a clone. Make unique, and that's not working for some reason. Let's try that again. If that doesn't, okay, if that doesn't work, and sometimes this may happen, just push collapse all. There you go. Now it is an exact copy, and now you can click Attach, click on the other mesh. You'll notice that it becomes one object. Before you do anything, you're going to notice that if you do modify this mesh anymore, that nothing is welded together. So before you play around, if it's all on the same line here and all looks really good, what I want you to do is go to Vertex Mode. Grab all the aligning vertexes, so I know that here these align this aligns together, these align together. And if you look down in this view, you can see the entire line down the middle here, which is exactly what I want to weld together. And I'm gonna set a relatively low weld setting here in Vertex. If you go here, you'll see weld, and I'm gonna weld selected, let's say by 0.1. Look at your vertex count, so 36. So really, if they're all welded properly, it should be about, I think 30, uh, about 17, 18, or 19 vertexes. I'm going to click Selected. I get 18. Perfect. It's exactly half. And that's all you need to do. Now they're all welded together. You'll notice if I move the polygons, there's no holes anymore. It actually moves the proper amount of polygons. 
If you go to wireframe mode, there's no polygons hidden on the inside, so you have a perfect mesh to work with. And that's a little tutorial on uh, setting up uh, the new pivot, mirroring, attaching, and welding. Good luck.